Hi, everybody. Welcome back. Hey. <laughs> you know, as you all know, I don't really have like a master plan for the week other than to just make, make, make and have fun, I guess. I have a sense of how we're starting, but I'll just leave you all to enjoy class. I'll be doing a little something, something to get my head in the game. But I'm really happy to be here with all of you and look forward to making, building, et cetera, et cetera. Happy dance, happy dance. I think there's, there's so much really to think about with the company coming back together for the first time and today being that first day. I'm trying to be aware of the dancer's energy. I'm trying to be aware of my energy. I'm also trying to like ride this weird balance of like making sure that we're being super productive because this is the only time that I'll probably be with everyone really in a studio until maybe 2021. This whole time, I knew that I really wanted to make a lot of progress on all three of the works. In kind of my extreme goal, I wanted to have a finished version of An Untitled Love. I wanted to have a finished version of Nina Simone, and I wanted to have a very clear draft, if not the full thing, of Mozart. We were given this opportunity from Jacob's Pillow to come here and be our own pod. And that really means that we are on campus as our own residency bubble. We are sticking to four indoor spaces, two houses that are where the dancers and some ancillary staff are residing, and our two rehearsal spaces, the Doris Duke Theater and the Perlis Studio. We took the measures that would clear us to rehearse without masks, making contact, kind of all of the things we're not yet ready to do in New York when we're not in our residency bubble. That said, if somebody wants to wear a mask in the rehearsal space, we are completely encouraging that. I think coming back now in the midst of all this chaos that we're all kind of just in right now, it's really assuring that there is a safe place that we could still have that freedom or feel free. Very grateful to be in the space and very grateful to be learning and able to dance and move my body in full capacity. A typical day in a residency starts with either a self warm up doing exercises that get them ready for the rehearsal day, or it'll start with company class, um, either led by our rehearsal director Matthew or by one of the company members during this residency. I would say when the dancers teach the classes um, prior to our rehearsals, it's really helpful because I think it also helps to bring us together before starting a day. So the classes have been beautiful. Uh, Kier taught yesterday and that was a really awesome class. And CJ's class was also really beautiful today. Um, it definitely prepares us for what um, is going to be asked of us in rehearsals. I do start like most days or rehearsals always asking how everybody's feeling because I want to gauge that to figure out how to push or what to do or what we need to see or do. It can be really challenging to see how much needs to get done and uh, feel really antsy and eager to work towards that, but to also be acknowledging the people that you're working with. And you just have to relax and realize that there will be more days, there'll be more time, trying to stay patient in the continued process of the work and that it will develop and it is a development and it's a process. It's 
today we have been working on a lot of Mozart stuff. I think just investigating more of the characters in the piece, also getting used to the new dancers in the space as well, kind of creating memories with them, an atmosphere with them. Five, six, seven, we go. More and more I watch the videos of the work, I see different dancers stand out to me and different themes start to evolve for me. Jay was a dancer that really stood out to me. I think there was something about not only their like ridiculous movement possibility, but there's something about just their essence that I felt really embodied what I'm hoping to do with this work in some way. Ironically though, this Mozart work is one that is really driven by a lot of intention and direction, not necessarily choreography per se. we went into the Stina Simone project that we started making during quarantine. It was my first time seeing that all together because I could never have the dancers all in the same room. I started making the Nina Simone suite when I knew that um, some, of the, some of the women from the company were gonna be doing another repertory work that wasn't gonna include everyone else. So knowing who was already cast in that work I wanted to focus on those other dancers for Nina initially. Each time that we've worked on an Untitled Love, the cast has shifted, it seems like. Almost every residency there's been a change in, in dancers or so it seems. And each time that, that happens, it gives me an opportunity to have a new perspective and to integrate new ideas, new energy, new flavor into that work. So two years ago we worked on this piece and we have something and now we're just stripping into what it really needs to be. And it's so interesting that it takes a two year process to do that. One on one time with dancers is really important but it's also really complicated when you have a larger cast. Um, it's really something that I I think I do a good job in terms of having thing. people working on several different things at the same time, so we're maximizing the time. But I do have to think about that one-on-one -on -one time and oh, think about me, yeah, I how I can try and get as much information to someone as possible. I believe that the challenge that I have being new in the, in the process is um, the nuances. Uh, I believe AIM dancers have a way of moving the body. The most valuable information he said yet. Yeah, I'm here because I'm a part of this recipe that he's preparing. He needs certain spices and certain um, ingredients to add and I'm just happy to be an ingredient. Being around nature and just being inspired by everything around me has been really amazing. Kyle always has a destination to reach, and he's always discussing with us about that destination. And what I love about Kyle is that he is completely okay with whatever route we take into that destination. I don't have the, the, there was something weird that happened when you sent both two videos to me, Maddie. So only one. I also have like a little pile of some like AIM shirts and tanks that, sweatshirts that I can't fit anymore because COVID's real. And there's a, there's that hoodie thing that you wanted. So there's stuff over there. You're welcome to take it. Uh, just gonna hold it again, sorry. Wow. 
just landed right on my phone. Okay, I see you. Okay. I'll let you do you.